I find myself uh, in need of learning C++. Um, uh, now I've done a bit of C in the past and a uh, tiny little bit of C++. Um, so I kind of know where I'm starting from. Uh, but I thought it would be quite fun to try uh, and implement uh, Little Man Computer, uh, some sort of emulator, simulator type thing, um, as a little exercise for, for learning. Uh, now, for those of you that don't know, Little Man Computer is um, designed to be kind of a way into learning about uh, computer architectures and uh, assembly language. Uh, that's got rid of all of the uh, the craft around uh, real systems uh, and has, has pared it right down uh, to having uh, a simple concept of uh, a little chap working in a mail room with uh, 100 mailboxes uh, numbered from 0 to 99 in a suitably computer sciencey way and each of those mailboxes can contain a number from 0 to 999 and this number can either represent uh, an instruction to the computer or to the little man uh, or it can represent data in the same way that uh, a real computer might might uh, allow both instructions and data uh, in the same memory. Uh, in addition to this hundred mailbox uh, memory, uh, it also has uh, two other special mailboxes: uh, one labelled inbox and one labelled outbox, that allow you to put data into the computer and take data out again. Um, and as well as the sort of data handling side of things, there's also a little calculator uh, called the accumulator, uh, which is quite a confusing name, I would imagine, given uh, that that's the name of a, a register in a sort of single block of memory in uh, in traditional computers perhaps um, uh, maybe it's maybe it's not a completely unreasonable name uh, as it's 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 almost a memory location where you can uh, uh, manipulate put and remove data uh, it only has the ability to do addition and subtraction and uh, there is one one other little uh, item tucked away in here somewhere and there's it's the, the there's a, a, a negative flag which uh, whenever the accumulator result is negative uh, that flag is set to true uh, which allows branching instructions uh, to deal with uh, results uh, less than zero so that's the the, the, the general structure there are a number of instructions, not a very large number of instructions, uh, 10 in fact, that, that can be uh, performed. Uh, one is, uh, literally one, uh, is the add instruction, which uh, the xx here uh, represents the uh, address, the mailbox address, where it will uh, retrieve the number, the number between 0 and 999, and we'll add it to the current value in the accumulator. Uh, it should be noted, I guess, that uh, def the, the behavior is undefined uh, for the case where adding something to the accumulator would take that value over 999. Uh, we'll uh, invent something uh, sensible. Uh, when we come to deal with that. Uh, similarly, uh, instruction number two is the subtract command, which uh, does a subtraction and uh, sets the negative flag when the result is less than zero. Uh, although uh, I don't think it's clear what value 
uh, the accumulator will have uh, on a negative result. Um, yep, it says uh, the result is undefined, so again we'll we'll come up with something sensible. Uh, instruction three is a store which takes the value in the accumulator and puts it in the mailbox with the given address. Uh, four is uh, interestingly missing. I don't even know if that uh, that exists. Uh, I might have to do a little bit of extra googling there in a second um, to, to find out. Uh, instruction five is uh, a load instruction which takes uh, a value from the given mailbox address and puts it into the accumulator. Instruction six is an unconditional branch which takes the Ah yes, there's, there's one other component of the uh, little man computer that I forgot to mention earlier, and that's the program counter, which tells uh, the little uh, mailroom man uh, where which which memory address, which post box to get the next uh, instruction from. Uh, um, so uh, the branch, unconditional branch instruction number six, will take. Uh, the value xx and put that as the next uh, instruction to be read in the program counter and similarly 7 is branch of 0 so that is if the value in the accumulator is 0 and uh, suggests that also the negative flag should be not set uh, then it will uh, change the program counter value to be whatever is xx and uh, 8 is branch of positive uh, which is any case where the negative flag is not set uh, will branch to uh, memory address xx and then we have our uh, input and output instructions which uh, 901 takes the value in the inbox and puts it in the accumulator and value 902 takes the value in the outbox uh, value in the accumulator and puts it in the outbox so uh, it's worth noting here to get uh, a value from the inbox and put it into memory we have to do two instructions we have to do an input instruction which puts the value in the accumulator and then we have to put a uh, store instruction which takes the value from the accumulator and puts it in the mailbox and uh, as with all assembly language type uh, low-level programming there's a lot of shuffling about uh, if for example the value you have in the accumulator is something you want to retain uh, whilst actually getting a value from the input uh, so you need to store that get the value for the input store that and then bring the original accumulator value back into the accumulator potentially. And the final instruction 000 is a halt instruction which just tells the computer to stop doing anything. Uh, if we were programming this little man computer in a, uh, an assembly language form uh, rather than numerically then there's also uh, the concept of a data instruction which allows us to load values into memory uh, as data uh, rather than as program instructions so a little bit further down on uh, the, the wikipedia article we can see uh, example programs that use uh, for example various uh, data instructions at the end of the program uh, either to just assign names in this uh, symbolic assembly language uh, to memory locations or, or actually to initialize them with with given values that's uh, that's a little bit down the road though we'll uh, we'll, we'll come back to that later um, the uh, execution cycle uh, it's worth having a, a quick look through. Uh, so the little man, uh, each instruction cycle will do the following steps. 
uh, he will check the program counter uh, for a mailbox number which will contain the instruction to execute then he will fetch that instruction um, where and 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 uh, in interpret uh, it accordingly um, as as the values uh, the values below that we just looked at then uh, he will implement the program counter note we have to do this before uh, any any branching instructions or before actually doing stuff with the instructions because uh, otherwise this if we did this last then the branch would then have an increment after it and uh, uh, strange things might happen um, uh, then 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 the instruction is decoded uh, if uh, data is required uh, it is fetched from the relevant place. Uh, the instruction is then executed. Uh, any branch or store uh, happens. And then uh, we repeat the cycle or halt. Well, we don't halt because that would be another instruction. Uh, we halt if that was an, a halt instruction. So I think we've got enough uh, enough information there to be getting on with. We can we can always refer back to this. I'm going to ignore instruction number four, the mysterious instruction number four for now, and uh, can't come back to that uh, if it turns out we we needed to do something. Uh, but for now, let's 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 write some code. So we'll uh, we'll make uh, a folder. And let's actually create a, a Git repository incredibly slowly, it would appear. There. Excellent. And then we will uh, start off by creating uh, a C file. Do I like Little Man Computer as the name? LMC, is that too short? Let's leave it there for now. We don't appear to have actually been installed, that's fine. Let's do it properly. And we'll start off just by writing a short hello world uh, to check uh, we can build everything and, and everything works uh, as expected. So int main uh, void, I suspect you could potentially uh, put command line arguments in there, but we won't for now. And then turn zero. Let's uh, let's also see if we can guess some includes here, so we can uh, output hello world. Uh, something like that, isn't it? Hello world. Just making things up now. And we have that. So G LMC may or may not work. We do. We have a.out and it prints hello world. That's a good start. I think. A little make file might make life easier here. Um, I'll call it LMC. It depends on LMC.cpp. And then we have, uh, I could do all sorts of clever uh, make file things here, but I'm not going to bother. I'll keep it simple. And then we should just be able to do that. I like it. Uh, we should also be able to do it from here, which is helpful because then we'll get uh, any compiler errors uh, in the, the, the quick fix list. So uh, we can jump to where they are and sort them out more easily and stop us having to, to jump uh, between files quite so much. Let's uh, just, I think we need to do that. 
can do that from here. Let's do that. Uh, let's just add some extra. Let's just add some extra uh, errors and warnings and things. Uh, what's it? So we're going to catch as many errors, warnings, etc., as we can we can find, um, just to make life easier. I have a suspicion we didn't mean to do that either. I have a suspicion that that's not going to output the right file, is it? Let's not do that. Here, let's actually give it an explicit output file. And that should, uh, should do the job there. Yep, no errors or warnings, that's good. Uh, let's also just to make sure we're not doing anything silly, set ourselves on C17. And uh, just for fun, let's uh, make sure it's excessively optimized. And it's all up to date. It all works nicely. Very good. Let's just check that it runs after all of our messing around with the compilers. That's good. Let's create a git ignore file, just uh, so everything's all nice and tidy. Can we do this? Or do we need something cleverer than that? Nope, we can just do that. Probably didn't need the A there, but never mind. Uh, lovely. All looks good. <clears throat> so now we can uh, get on with writing the actual program, which I shall do in the next episode.